On our Cisco router, we're going to talk about the ping command, and it's more than just typing ping and then an IP address, although that is a part of it. <clears throat> the other thing we can do is we can ping from a specific interface on the router. So by default, we're just pinging from the one that's connected to the, to the subnet we're trying to ping from, but we want to try pinging from the other interface. So if we type the word ping, and first thing, it asks us for the protocol we want to use, and we're going to go ahead and use IP. And it wants to know the IP address, so we'll just do the same IP we did last time. And we just want to go ahead and use the defaults in these next commands. Until we get to the extended area, then we're going to want to change those. So it wants to know which address do we want to use. Well, Ethernet 0 slash 1 is the one in the 10.5 subnet, so we want to use the other subnet. So we're going to put in Ethernet 0 slash 0. That one's on a 172 network. And we'll just go ahead and choose the defaults again. And it does ping through. So if I could not ping from the Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface, which is on the 172 network, then that means routing is not working properly. But because I could, that means everything is set up as it should be.